the Shiki Science Show clips. Um, so one thing that I'm interested in, um, as well from the kind of biochemical perspective, is potentially combining different interventions together. And so I know in one of the earlier AKG studies, they did it in worms and they found that AKG alone extended their lifespan. But if the worms were dietary restricted, they didn't see that or they didn't see as much of a benefit. And so I wondered what your thoughts are on not necessarily just AKG, but actually combining different interventions together and whether or not they could be synergistic or potentially detrimental. I, I think the I'm positive about this approach in the long run, but right now, I don't think we can predict what's going to happen. We've tested a large number of combinations of mice and we do find we've never found anything that's toxic, but we do find things that cancel each other out. And uh, uh, some things don't seem to interact at all. Other things are additive. And I honestly can't predict what's going to what's going to happen when we start the experiment. So. You know, there are a lot of hackers out there that are taking 15 different things and, and there are pills now that are coming out that give you 12 different things to slow aging. Um, I honestly don't know what happens when you take 12 different things. And uh, I, I think that that's where we want to get to, maybe not 12, but we want to get to multiple interventions to maximize the effect. But I don't think we really know how to do that yet. And the other thing I'll say is if, if you get a pill that has 12 things in it and it's this big, ask yourself how much of each one could it possibly have? <laughs> because, uh, you know, the AKG pills with the vitamin A are this big and, and they're, we'd like to make them smaller, but we have to make them that big to get the product in. And now, if you imagine 12 things. So I, I think that the anti-aging, you know, market is still full of a lot of things that, that probably don't work. Uh, having said that, there are some things that are very intriguing, the AKG, the NAD precursors, and some of the other stuff. And I think that it's fine for people to go ahead and start trying things. I encourage them to, to be educate themselves and, and try things. But, you know, we have to really validate this and figure out what's working in the long run. Yeah, 